Oh my goodness. Now that I'm talking about it, I'm getting overwhelmed and I'm getting myself in a panic and I need to calm down. I need to calm, I'm getting overwhelmed. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm starting something new i'm starting a new series so just let me know what you think of it when i tell you okay so i was looking through my bookshelves you know just perusing as one does and i was thinking wow i've read a lot of books since i started my booktube channel somebody lied to her several times and then <laughs> I look, keep looking on my shelves and I'm like, wait, there's a lot of these books that I still haven't read. A lot. And then I look back on like old TBRs and I'm like, uh -huh, I haven't, didn't read any of those because here's the thing. Some of them I read, some of them I read and then some of them, I'm just, I'm the biggest mood reader. So it's like, um, I cannot have a set list, but I still do TBRs because I love to do them and I like to have some sort of an outline of what I'm going to read but half the time I just read whatever like is in my you know I'm feeling that month so I figured you know what I'm going to do here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go through every genre of books I own and I'm going to tell you guys what books I have not read from that genre yet that I own and then I'm going to come back in a year from now and I'm going to watch this video and react to it and see what books from it I have read. And if I have not read those books by this time next year, well then we'll come to that when we come to that, but I don't wanna say I'm gonna get rid of them cause I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna talk in haste, okay? Cause let's just be real. I'm probably not gonna get rid of them because of that. But I would just like to see if I make any progress um, reading them. Cause like, I'm not gonna get rid of them now cause I might get to them, you know, that's just how it is. And I'll probably add more books to the list. So if you're excited about this, if you like this idea, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments. But for today's installment, for today's episode, if you will, I am going to be doing all my YA fantasies that I have yet to read. Now this isn't all of them because it's a long list. It's a long list and I don't feel like writing them all down, but you see like this shelf here. Yeah, all of those, they're not all fantasies, but for the most part. So if I don't say everything just now, I mean, I, most of them. Okay, anyway, we're just gonna start. We're just gonna get into this long list. Okay, the first book, books, the books, there's three on my list are the Cruel Print series now. I started this book in May, in June. I don't remember. And I got like 50 pages in and I'm like, I'm done, I'm done. Because I just, it was not doing it for me. Um, but like I hear that so many people love the series and I'm like, what is it? Is it me? Is, am I, am I the wrong? Am I in the wrong here? So I still own all three and I'm just gonna Bust it. Bust it. And I'm gonna do it. When? In the next year. <laughs> Probably not. But I do just wanna finish it because it is fairy and I like fairy, but these fairies have tails. And there's just something wrong about that. In my opinion, I think just fairies should have wings because tails make me think, oh, it's something else you have to clean, you have to wipe, I'm TMI. Just no. Just no tails, just wings, please. The next series is the Car of All series by Stephanie Garber. Um, I have not read any of these and I only own, I own books one and two and I don't have book three. So I couldn't start it if I wanted to because I have to have the whole series. It's just a thing. Um, but I do know it's about two sisters and about like a carnival type thing. I don't know much else about it. Um, I did pre-order her next book that comes out in September, um, Once Upon a Broken Heart, because it's, I got the Barnes & Noble edition because it's signed and it's pink. I just liked it because it was pink. So I'll get to it again when I, when I get to it. That's going to be my excuse for all of these books on here. I don't know when I'm getting to it. Within the next year, we are going to hope. 
Okay, the next book is, I only have the first one, but it's the Serpent and Dove, like, trilogy. Um, I know there's Serpent and Dove, Blood and Honey, and Gods and Monsters. Um, however, I do know he's a witch hunter, and she's a witch, so. And I think these are technically not YA. I guess they're technically maybe new adult, but I'm mixing new adult YA because it's, it's an ordeal, and they usually just will market it as one. But, so just know that I know that it's the difference between YA and new, and new adult. Okay, the next one, okay, the next series is like the most intimidating on my series. Cause there's like eight books, eight or nine books. Um, I love this author. I love her one series. Am I gonna love this series? We don't know. But that series is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I mean, these books, there's a lot. And they're huge. I mean, some of these are really freaking big. That's what she said. <laughs> oh and it's just not necessary for them to be that big. Um, but they are something I need to read. I love her Akatar series, so I hope I would love these. Uh, side note, I don't know where to start. There's a big like debate about, do you start with Throne of Glass? Do you start with Assassin's Blade? So if you've read them, let me know. Did you start with Assassin's Blade or Throne of Glass? How do you read them? What's your preference? Let me know. Um, I then have the Three Dark Crown series that I'd like to start. Um, all I know it's about <laughs> three sisters who are fighting for the crown of their country. And I think there's three books, two or three books in the series and a novella. I'm not quite too sure, but I do own the first book. I think it's just the first book I own. It's up on the top shelf. I don't feel like looking right now, but as well as reading for Dead Queens, different author, no connection, but that is another, it's not even a series. It's just a book that I would, that I want to read because I do like myself some, some kingdom vibes. I like fantasy when it's like kingdoms and crowns and queens and things like that so but I haven't been reading a lot of fantasy lately I'm going to be completely honest with you it's why I have like such a long list because I've just been reading thrillers and contemporary romance that's like the only ones I've been reading right now I'm not mad at it I'm just saying like I, I want to get back to like some fantasy so that's what that's why I wanted to do this one the next one is blood air and i want to read this because it's like loosely based i don't know if it's loosely or just totally based on anastasia but i love anastasia oh, that once upon a december song once upon a december so good journey to the past on a journey to the past So good. Her grandma is um, Angela Lansbury. So good. Like, I love Anastasia and I want to read this book. And I think it's a series. I could be mistaken, but I do believe it's also a series. I then need to hop on the Aaron Morgenstern bus and read The Starless Sea and The Night Circus. Now, I don't know. All I know about The Starless Sea is that it's like a book about books, sort of kind of. And the Night Circus is about a, I think it's like a, a duel between like these two circuses and they have like each have magicians and they have to like find out who's the better magician. I think I could be totally wrong, but I think it's what it's about. But there are also two that I would like to get eventually. I then have the, is this the Scythe series? Cause it's not, yeah, Scythe series by Neil Schusterman. Um, I have books one and two. I do not have three. So that's also something I would need to get to. Um, I do know like the premise of those. It's about like the society where no one dies. So they have like these scythes that go in and kill people, I guess, when they reach a certain age or whatever to keep the population down. So I, I think that's the, the gist of it, I think. So it's more, I guess, dystopian than it is like maybe fantasy, but I've stuck it with the fantasies. I then have the beautiful uh, duology by Renee Audier. Need to read it. I know it's not as much about vampires as people were wanting, but the cover is beautiful and it's set in New Orleans and like that's enough for me. Just like the atmosphere itself is like, yes, please. That's like a goal of mine to get to New Orleans. I just want to go and visit like the graveyards down there and like just 
to see like the old like French Quarter, that's where I want to go. I then have like some mermaidy. Mer I don't know what this is. This is not mermaidy. That's like the hula, but mermaid-ish books. Um, to Kill a Kingdom, All the Stars, and Teeth. And is that it? That may be it. There was only two. Okay, not as much as I thought. Not as much as I thought, but. Those two I also like to read. I do know All the Starts and Teeth are two, uh, like a duology. So they are also ones that I need to get to eventually. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but they're right up there. I have the Ember and the Ashes uh, series. I have books one and two. So I would like to get to those eventually as well. This whole book, this whole video is just, I'll get to things eventually. Eventually! <laughs> um, I would then like to finish the Red Queen series <laughs> because I started these way long ago. Like I'm talking when they first came out long ago. So it's been a minute and I just never finished them. <sighs> um, there's four in the series. I think there's like a, a novella or something or a prequel or, or something as well. And she has another book out called Rembreaker which is another one that I have that I need to read. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a series or a duology. I then would like to read House of Salt and Sorrow and I really think I'm gonna pick this one up next month anyway because it's kind of like eerie. And like to me, September is October, which is Halloween. That's how I see it. Uh, <laughs> if you guys don't know, like September, I set aside for like fall decorations. So this will all get changed into like fall stuff. So it'll be like September, October, you have two months of, of Halloween. Or fall and then as soon as like November 1st hits 12 o'clock 12 a.m. it's Christmas um so you have two months of Christmas that's how I see it and then you have mashed potato day in the middle that's how I work but I would like to read House of Salt and Sorrow because it is a, a retelling of 12 dancing princesses which I do enjoy that story so I would like to read that one as well um I then would like to read lore because it is it's like, I guess it's technically fantasy. It's mythology into mythology. It's fantasy to me, but I do have that one. I have like Circe. I, ha I have so many mythology books that I need to read, but those are like, lore is like on top of my list of ones. It just came out this year. I know people have already read it, but you know what? I, I beat to my own drum and I will get to it eventually. And then the last book I have on this list because I got tired of writing is Daughter of the Pirate King, which I know is a duology. Um, I'm pretty sure. But I just want to read it. I, I really can't tell you what it's about other than she's the daughter of Pirate King right now. Because I've been talking for a long time and I just can't remember technically what the book is about right now. But that is another one. And I'm sure there's more. I did not write them all down. I just... Those were like the tops of the ones that if I need to get to, I need to get to. So a year from now, we're gonna come back. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna see what she did. We're gonna see if she read them. And if she didn't, she'll get to it. She'll she'll get to it eventually, eventually. But yeah, so I plan on doing that, um, this video with my YA thrillers, with my YA contemporaries, with my adult romance, my adult thrillers, and my retellings. So. Look forward to that. I'm also currently reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm doing a reading vlog, so look for that in the coming days. So it should be up soon-ish. I'm thinking probably the weekend. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you're new, let me know down below. Have you read any of these? What should I prioritize first? Let me know. Should I, which one should I read first? All my social media is linked down below. Uh, if you wanna follow me on my Instagram or my Goodreads, I always update those more than YouTube because it's just easier. If you wanna follow me on there, I would greatly appreciate it. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Why can I never remember how I do my outro? Why can I never remember? That's a thing. That, that's, I'm worried. I worry myself. And I've been reading, um, <laughs> don't mind me i hate my chair i hate my chair but i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna show you stop take a breath remember to breathe when you talk